Recording in progress. Hi everyone, let's understand what is the difference between systematic literature review and bibliometric analysis. So here is I'm going to share with you one of the published paper in Australian Journal of Management 2020. And this paper has written by these two authors, three authors, Abhay K. Singh also. So these three authors and uh, this paper is published in this particular journal, Australian Journal of Management. Publisher is Sage Publication. So abstractness of this particular journal, let me tell you, there are some points on the basis of which you can distinguish easily. Author said here in this particular paper, this article details methodological steps for conducting literature review in our replicable and scientific fashion. And bibliographic mapping also that approach to visualization of bibliometric information and findings from a systematic literature review. So how we will go step by steps through this paper and I'm going to share link of this particular paper in my description box so you can download that paper and it's freely is available that paper. So in the introduction part, there is properly defined what is the essence of systematic literature review and you can see here systematic review differ from traditional narrative reviews by adopting a replicable scientific and transparent process. In other words, a detailed technology that aims to minimize bias through exhaustive literature ser searches and of published and unpublished studies and by providing an audit trail of the reviewer's decision, procedure, and conclusion. So systematic literature review means step-by-step -step process that are not a single paper we, can, we could be able to miss. And suppose the same step I would follow, I will also get the same result, what results you have got. This is the one of the benefit of systematic literature review. And uh, systematic literature review through this uh, uh, methodologically steps for uh, how researchers can conduct systematic literature review and offer examples of bibliometric approaches to visualize results in this paper. So one by one, uh, we will go through it. You can see here systematic literature review can help overcome all those limitations that earlier we were facing like here is this is the process establishing a context and delimiting a research problem seeking theoretical support rationalizing a problem and new lines of inquiry distinguishing what has been done from what needs to be done identifying the main outcomes of and methodologies used in prior studies and avoiding fruitless research so that's very focused research and streamlined research and very organized research, we can say. And then we come to the more com common approach is a theme-centric review in which the researcher guides the reader through way that prior publications have contributed to developing our understanding of themes, concepts of phenomena of interest. Next, we come to the, you can see here, uh, we come to the some literature uh, review examples also. So towards a systematic review, you can see as with all research, the value of systematic review depends on rigorous method and the clarity of reporting as well as on the application of scientific strategies so that possible errors and biases are limited. So fundamental idea of systematic literature review is that the review is replicable, meaning that another researcher can replicate the review process and arrive at the same set of evidence and the same conclusion, as I said earlier also. And systematic literature review, that would include exhaustive searches of designated databases like Web of Science, Scopus. So you can um, uh, go through this particular databases and you can download your .csv files to run for bibliometric analysis. Then we come to the identification of literature of inclusion. This is the very important part of this particular paper. 
then we come to the next step is that decide inclusion and exclusion criteria. What could be your inclusion criteria on what basis you are excluding documents or the published research papers that the through flow diagram you have to uh, give proper justification and data cleaning once that's the most important part once again i could say once a range of suitable studies is identified duplicate needs to be removed from the analysis in addition studies that are not relevant need to be removed i mean sometimes what happened suppose uh, we are working on one specific topic and there is we are not medical student and at that time some medical related research papers also included in our that systematic literature review so th those relevance is not here so we would remove these papers because these are because we are management students let's say or we are research scholars of management stream or the humanities or social sciences so there is no relevance of such kind of paper those you are including in your uh, literature systematic literature review so i'm sure um, time, you will remove such kind of entries those are duplicate entries you have to remove it and there is the some uh, programs it has been mentioned here is uh, his site and uh, his site is also giving the same results that you are running your data on bibliometric through our studio also so finally, here is synthesis and analysis that could be your next step for systematic review that co that comprise only a small number of studies not suitable for any meta analysis. The researchers can consider preparing tables to overview criteria such as research questions of the study. The context for the analysis, the methods used, whether the publication is conceptual, the sampling method as well as those are your key findings. Then the presentation of the results, you have to present well in, uh, in your research paper. And uh, these would be evidences from the quantitative meta-analytical analysis, example like meta-analytical structure equation modeling or meta-analytical regression analysis you can do. So normally follow the representation pattern used in qualitative articles. Then we come to the bibliographic mapping tools. So n number of bibliographic uh, mapping tools are available. So you can use any bibli uh, bibliographic uh, tool. Here is a bibliographic mapping with his site. His site is also. I will also prepare a one video on his site. So please follow me on my YouTube channel. And uh, that particular video, you can find it. And uh, then you can learn his site also, how we have to uh, prepare some networking analysis through his site. You can see here, these are the some outcomes. Uh, these are the citation map of research con uh, conversation. Then we come to the, you can see, um, LCS, LCS stands for local citation score and GCS stands for global citation score. And uh, in that form, I mean, you can prepare such kind of networks and systematic review using R. Yes, BiblioShiny, that is one of the important package in R Studio. And uh, uh, after using this particular package, you can do bibliometric analysis also. So bibliometric is far um, is by far the most popular art package and is used in a growing number of publications. You can see number of the papers has been published by using our studio. And uh, you can see like details of the paper, those have you are you had included in your citation network and all these things. So I would show you these kind of pictures you can create it through all these uh, bibliometric analysis through our studio you can prepare such kind of graphs and um, top authors production over time that one is the i was talking about this one is the networking plot and uh, this is the keyword co-occurrence as network plot and uh, this one is the plot is prepared by this our studio i mean through biblioshiny bibliometric analysis through biblioshiny so you can also prepare in the similar fashion and uh, this one is also, that is, we can say, Sankey diagram. And this one is also prepared by the same, um, I could say, software. And uh, topic extraction tools, we can do that. We can, topic extraction tool, you can prepare this, uh, like 30 topic worst. Uh, author has prepared these kind of tools. And uh, you can see here, maximum spanning tree. 
the screen is also you can prepare with the help of the softwares and everything is through Gaffy also. Like Gaffy is also very good uh, software. I will give the link in my description box. Those uh, videos I had prepared on Gaffy. So discussion and finally you will write discussion and conclusion. And uh, after that simply these are the some important notes. I think you must follow these notes. You can see here you should be noted here that reviews can also focus on a review of research methods used within a field of research. And these are the some uh, important links through which you can download the packages. And uh, these are the some packages websites also. So you can follow this paper and I'm giving link of this paper in my description box. I hope this video will be helpful to you to understand systematic literature review and bibliometric analysis. Thank you. Keep watching.